Hey everyone, this is Phil from The Cubicle, and today I'm going to be talking about the Chi Pyramids, and I will be joined in by uh, Ro. We're going to have a conversation. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm cool too. Uh, I'm uh, actually really curious about this uh, this puzzle here. It's very different from the Moyu, and uh, based on its pricing, it really looks like Chi is trying to compete with Moyu. They're the same price. Yeah, I agree. There's also pretty obvious differences in the Mo. Oh um, yeah, you said... Um, this is the first thing you notice, right? Yeah. I don't know if you can see from here, but there's a pretty big gaping hole right in the center. You can see the core pretty easily from the outside. Yeah, that's uh, definitely very unique. I, I don't remember any puzzle where you can see the core from... Uh, yeah, it's it's very strange. Yeah, um, it, it seems like like my first impression of that was it would be like a structural, almost liability, right? It would make it very flimsy and unstable, but it really ended up surprising us. Yeah, it's the exact opposite. Be honest, it's really clicky and rigid. Um, it clicks more into place than the Moyu Q for sure. And uh, yeah, actually, a lot of the differences between the Chi and the Moyu come from this this hole, right? The hole makes it corner cut better. Uh, yeah. Can you, yeah, show the corner cutting one more time. Yeah, that's really good for pyramids. Yeah. And uh, even if you can't cut and you push really hard, the cube's not going to pop, which is. Uh, Pretty nice, and that, that was a great corner cut. Yeah, it's it's nice. Yeah, and uh, the hole also makes the pieces of different sides. Yeah, because the edges are receding backwards more to open that hole. It, it, they appear smaller. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, uh, the tips are different, right? Yeah. Um, the Moyu tips are a lot more springy. You can hear the spring. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that bothers some people, but this one, it's very pretty... Pretty stable. Um, yeah, it snaps into place yeah. really nicely. And uh, yeah, this cube on the whole feels a lot slower and more stable than the Moyu. The Moyu is definitely quicker, more flex. Yeah, like, um, it's just way tighter. Like you can see, if you if you just like jumble the puzzle a little bit, like this edge piece comes out really loose. Like the piece, uh, the pieces are, uh, you know, have more leeway in the Moyu. And uh, it retains, the puzzle retains the pyramid's shape less readily. Like, this is a solid pyramid. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we're not sure what exactly, you know, competitive pyramid solvers will think. Uh, definitely, we're not competitive pyramid solvers. Not at all. No. <laughs> and um, we had a lot of fun observing the differences between these puzzles, because uh, even at our level, they were really obvious. Uh, the mechanical differences, as well as, you know, the differences in feel. But uh, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be sending these uh, new pyramids to faster and uh, you know more qualified pyramid solvers, and uh, we'll get their opinion on it and we'll share it in the description. We'll share their videos with you guys so you can see uh, what faster pyramid solvers think. So uh, in summary, uh, let's just uh, quickly go over this cube. Yeah, I mean, in summary, it's clicky, uh, turns a little slower than the Moyu, uh, but it's a lot more stable. In my yeah. opinion. Yeah, clicky, rigid, stable, uh, slower, and uh, really interesting design. Yeah, see the core. We'll show you guys a picture in the description. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. Uh, that's all we can say about this puzzle. Uh, they're both really good out of the box, so definitely an enjoyable puzzle um, for uh, any pyramid solver. So yeah, let us know what you thought about uh, this slide in the video. Uh, let us know if you have any suggestions, comments, or anything. Um, we'll be glad to hear them. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.